Hi, Carl here for Pro-V TV, and today we're taking a look at the first two lenses from Samyong's new XP Premium range. So this is the 85mm f1.2 and the ultra-wide 14mm f2.4. So, those who have used Samyong before will know they make good value entry-level glass with good quality results but a slightly less robust build quality. But these two lenses are the start of a new direction for Samyong. With a sleek, smooth design and sturdy aluminium alloy construction, these, these are definitely premium lenses. So let's take a closer look at each of them. This is the 14mm f2.4. And the style of this lens, in fact both of the lenses, really reminds me of the Zeiss Battis lenses, if you've seen those. Got a minimal curved design with a smooth, simple focus ring. Which is no bad thing at all, I think they're very attractive lenses. And the optical quality is good as well. So Samyang already have a 14mm that's f2.8. So just looking at the specs, it might seem like this one wasn't really worth twice the price for a slightly wider aperture. But optically, it's actually far, far better. It's a very sharp and distortion is very well controlled. It's a completely new optical design with 18 elements of glass. And that's what gives you that extra sharpness, the low distortion and minimal vignetting, which is something the f2.8 version was quite prone to. So this is actually a very sharp lens, especially for a 14 millimeter. It's very impressive. So that's the 14. And this one is the 85 millimeter f1.2. This is a bigger and heavier lens than the 14, weighing about one kilogram compared to 800 grams. And it's surprising how much difference that extra 200 grams does make. It does feel substantial on your camera, but it's very normal for an f1.2 lens. Canon's 85mm f1.2, for example, which a lot of people are going to end up comparing to this lens, weighs almost exactly the same. This 85mm also performs very well optically. It's very sharp, even wide open, and the bokeh is very appealing, at least to me. We have all enjoyed shooting with it here in the office. It's a really lovely lens for doing portraits with. In fact, I've always liked the 85mm focal length as a whole, so I'm really happy with this lens. So, let's talk about the main drawbacks of both of these. These are manual focus only lenses. There's no autofocus motors in them at all. They do, however, have electronic contacts on the back, so they will communicate with your camera. So you'll get metadata for what the aperture and the focal length is set to. Plus, you also get autofocus confirmation. Now this means you can use the autofocus controls on the camera to tell you when your subject is in focus. You put the focus point on your subject and then you half press the shutter like you would to focus on a normal autofocus lens. Then when you turn the focus ring and hit the correct focus, the camera will beep at you and flash red, just like normal when the autofocus has done its job. For video, the lack of autofocus isn't a huge issue, unless you're using one of Canon's cinema cameras like the C200, which have that good autofocus control. But for most cameras, manual focus is fine. For stills though, I really did miss having autofocus, especially with the DSLR. I mean, I used it with the 5D Mark IV and with the confirmation method, which I just described, after a bit, I found I was getting the hang of it and was being able to focus quite quickly. But then I tried it on a Sony a7R II, and because of the EVF on that camera, it was much, much easier. I was able to turn on focus peaking and magnify into the image to focus without taking the camera away from my eye, which is much, much nicer. At the moment, these are only in Canon EF mounts, but Samyang seemed to be open to making them in different mounts, which is great. A Sony E-mount version of these would be very, very nice. But the lenses do work perfectly fine on E-mount cameras with a Metapone's adapter. So there's nothing wrong with buying these EF versions and using a Metapone's adapter if you're on a Sony camera. So, what do you think of these lenses? Would they be a good addition to your kit? All of the information on these lenses is in the description below. And if you'd like to see any more lenses from Samyong's new XP range, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.